Welcome back guys. Today we've got a very rare set of medals. Why? Because of this bad boy here. So this is the Queen's Silver Jubilee Medal, which was issued in 1977 to celebrate 25 years on the throne. And why is it so rare? Because only a handful of these were issued out to every unit. So typically your commanding officer, your RSM, maybe one or two others. I've been doing this on off for 20 odd years now, 20 years thereabouts, and yeah, I've only ever seen two of these. So if you do come across one and you want to check it's genuine, basically the thickness and the size of the medal. So the thickness should be exactly the same thickness as the other Jubilee medals. And as for the size of it, it should be um, about, I would say, five, six the size of a campaign medal, such as the GSM. Okay. So I'm going to put these four together and show you a few steps in between. So I've already made the board up here. This is the front of the board where the medals are going to hang. And the back of the board, you want that strip at the bottom there with the double sided tape to hold it on. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip it that way. And all we're simply going to do is I'm going to line up these and stick the ribbons down. One of the problems with the Cypress ribbon is that it's 35mm wide, which is 3mm wider than your other three. So the problem with that is it's going to ever so slightly overlap the board if you cut it to that length either side by a mil or two. Now, the problem with that is it's not going to fit through here because as you can see, there's no give at the end of these. This is a issued clasp. We tell that by the NATO stock number, which is just here, minus seven digits. And no, I didn't steal it. It came from a very good friend of a friend of Auntie Jackie's sister's uncle's brother's boy, so really you'll have to take it up with him. What you are gonna need is one of these purchase clasps. And as you can see here, you've got the drilled holes at the ends, which allow that ribbon to fit through without too much of a struggle. Obviously, you don't have to fit it through the ribbon slot at the back. If you want, you can just fold the ribbons back and then plonk that on and sew it in. Uh, it's up to you, really. Uh, I prefer to do it the proper way and have the ribbons going through the slot. But I've marked my line at 11 mil across, which is where I intend to stitch. And then once I've stitched down, I can then fold those ribbons back up. Hopefully, you can still see where you can make out the line that I've marked on this side as well. And that's it. That's all stitched. And Obviously on the other side as well. That's where I finished it off because that's going to get folded over. You won't see that. And these are ready to uh, basically fold up and hang. Next step is to <laughs> clean these. This one hasn't been cleaned for a long time as you can see. But don't worry, it'll come up just like new. Hopefully you can see a bit of a difference. And that's all clean. You can see me in there look. Not bad condition for a medal that's been around a good few years. The UN ones, uh, it's up to you if you want to try and give them a buff. The owner of these wanted it a little bit shiny, so that's exactly what I did. That's the ribbon stuck down, and you can see from the back, I've folded them back and gone up. Now, here comes the alternate method. I'm going to put the clasp on first. I'm simply going to feed the ribbon through the slot and then stitch the clasp into place. But before we do that, I want to secure the ribbons to the board to stop them from coming away from the double-sided tape, which they will if they're depending on the type of ribbon. Uh, make sure that you put the tape further down though, because otherwise it will be difficult to get off once this is stitched down the other side. See where I've taped the ribbons down to the board by my finger? And you can see what I've done here. I've put a bit of tape across the four ribbons to keep them steady, basically, as I fed them through the slot. A little bit bunched up at the edges, as it should be. And all I'm simply going to do now is stitch this brooch bar into place. Note the space on the top. A couple of mil there, and the ribbons are basically going to fold over there, and they'll be held in place. You can also use pins to keep the clasp in place while you're stitching it. As you can see here, just be careful you don't stab yourself. I do that quite a lot. Uh, but there we go. So use the pins for wherever you're going to stitch. I'm going to put a stitch in most of these to 
hold the ribbons in place. That's all the way through. Uh, with these stitches, I've put enough in to keep the ribbon steady. If you turn it over, I've tied the knots on this side. Don't be tempted to go round and round with these things because otherwise it's going to show through when you hang the medals. The other thing I've done here, nice little touch, is I've done the thread at the ends exactly the same colour as the metal ribbon. You don't have to do that, that's just my OCD. Anyway, apart from that, you're free to take all the tape off now and the next stage is to hang the ribbons themselves. Now the biggest problem with doing this way round is because you're basically going to be using that, folding it through and in effect folding it underneath, there is a degree of trial and error. Now it's especially more difficult with the medals that are suspended by loops and not bars. So if you've got a mixture of both, normally I start from this side and work my way over. However, start with the straight bar because that's basically going to give you the measurement that you need for the length of ribbon to suspend the medal. Furthermore, Basically, the regulations state that your medals, when caught mounting, are supposed to hang half on the board and half over it. And as you'll see, this is a completely different size. So this is actually gonna hang slightly lower because, this is very important, the bottom edges need to line up. Okay, so it's all very well trying to mount this medal and putting it in the middle but unfortunately this one is going to hang slightly lower so start with the full size campaign medals with a straight bar that will give you your measurement and then to do the remainder you can set up a simple template as you can see here with A4 paper I've drawn a line across the top of the ribbon board so you can line all this up and once you've done this first medal okay once you've uh, got it right got it to the correct length so that it hangs exactly 50% over the board then what you do is you'll move the ribbon um, the, the metal back okay and then we're going to basically take a very simple parallel line across here and that's going to be your datum for hanging the rest of the medals so it will be a lot simpler to do the medals back to front and then simply at the end you'll just fold them down and they will all line up perfectly at the bottom so I'll show you what I mean once I've done this one I've threaded this through now so that it's the right length when I fold the metal down okay from here, what we can then do is we can push this ribbon into here and draw a line across there. That will give us a line where we can trim the ribbon itself. And then if you want to, you can basically use double-sided tape to secure the ribbons together at this point. And that's it, trimmed. So you'll see, trimmed it there and it's uh, basically tacked together with the double-sided. And that will fold neatly down and basically with a bit of tension will line up at the halfway mark um, like I said with a bit of tension um, and then once you've done that basically what you can do is unfold this and line up the bottom and top edges with the template and then at a stretch basically just use the pen and put a little mark on here and then measure the distance between that mark and either this line or the bottom of the page and draw a parallel line going across and that will form the template for the rest of the medals. If you're using a standard height board which is around about 69 millimeters then this line here should be around about 16.2 centimeters or 162 millimeters thereabouts. If you've got that then you should be on the right track. You can now carry on and do the rest of the medals confident that they will line up when you go to tack them down at the end. Every one of these now has been folded and with the template in place you'll see that they all line up as they should so when we fold them properly they will all line up level at the bottom as we go to stick them down. So. You might find a little bit of trouble with you know a bit of trial and error especially with these on the loop they're a pain they are really a pain but a little bit of manipulation like I've shown you in previous videos you can even these um, angles out so they all look pretty um, parallel and even so have a play with those get the best effect and do what works for you a bit of tape on these to hold the metal into place and when you put this ribbon over make sure that the bit underneath is tucked in to here so that it doesn't get 
uh, crumpled up as you fold it and then with a bit of tension not too much basically all you've got to do is lay it flat and parallel over the existing ribbon obviously feel free to use a needle down here to make sure that the angles are both at the correct height so you want to measure that across like this and that wants to continue for all the loop metals that you've got as well the other thing I like to do is I might want to turn this and get this to focus properly make sure any breaks in the loop like this one here I'm going to move that around using a pair of mini pliers so that the break is not visible bit of a nice touch here use a bit of gold thread to hold the gold metal down what I've done here is I've put two pins through where I'm going to secure it and all that does is it punches a hole and I'll just give, it, give each one a wiggle and then I'm going to feed this in through the back and secure the metal into place before I move on to the next one so do that for every metal and that will then be the metals almost finished and there we have it all four strapped down and if you have a look closely the gold thread you just about notice it silver thread for the silver jubilee I've used a brown olive thread for the UN medal and silver for the GSM before I put the felt on the back ordinarily I would use a little blob of fabric glue where I've tied the uh, thread off at the back of the metal however a little piece of double sided tape will do the job just as well just remember to peel the plastic off though before you put the felt um, to finish the job off. Final step is taking the backing off these and you can see now the uh, stitching underneath shouldn't go anywhere uh, we've also cut a little bit of felt out of this sheet and get these from the range and take the back of it and trim the corners like I do and there we go all finished with the backing on one rare jubilee set with silver jubilee complete hope you enjoyed that found it useful any questions drop them in the comments below until next time take care